Church, say amen. amen. I am the honor of the spirit of the Lord of this place today to the great pastor of this church, Reverend Dr. Warnock, to all of the Reverend clergy and the officials of this great church, and to all of my brothers and sisters, particularly to this bereaved family and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I had the great pleasure of serving as Daniel's third grade teacher at Parkside Elementary School several years ago. And when he came to my class at nine years old, he reminded me a lot of myself at that age. Because many of you know that Daniel loved to sing. And there was a microphone that did not become Daniel's best friend. <laughs> because when he took the microphone, he was going to sing to his heart's content. And when I was Daniel's age, I remember him being in my class and how he was involved in many of the programs at our school. I thought back to when I was his age, growing up in the church. And I grew up in a church in a town outside of St. Louis, Missouri, known as Ferguson. And in this community, every Saturday, there was a choir rehearsal as we were prepared for the Sunday worship service. Every Saturday in the afternoon, there was a choir rehearsal to prepare for the Sunday service. But every now and then, there would become a time for us as the choir to learn a new song. And as a member of the choir, I would look at the worship leader, and it was always a challenge to identify the right person to sing the solo for the song, the lead part of the song. And so, in asking the question, how do you pick the person to sing the lead or the solo for the song? question was answered by the response, you have to pick the person with the right voice and the right testimony to go along with the song. And Daniel's life was a melody all within itself because he lived a life that was a song. As a student in my class, he was always very ambitious, he was always very eager to learn and always was willing to be involved in activities in the school and as a teacher and some of his other teachers who are here could, could I'm sure attest to the same thing that Daniel loved to learn and Daniel loved to lead and sometimes he would even want to teach the class himself <laughs> and so I would give him the opportunity if he was really engaged in an activity to lead the class and even after Daniel left Parkside Elementary he went on to middle school and to high school he would come back occasionally to the school to check on his former teacher Mr. Farmer. And the last time that I encountered Daniel when he came back to the school, he was telling me about his work that he had done with the foundation that he created back in Virginia. Also, he was ambitious to go on to college and he even shared with me some of his challenges physically. And even in that moment, his spirit embodied a song. His spirit embodied a song that says, I've had some good days, I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days, I weigh my bad days. And as a result, I won't complain. Daniel's life was indeed a melody. But just like when I was a child growing up and going to choir rehearsal on a Saturday in the afternoon, on last Saturday, in the afternoon, it was time for another kind of choir rehearsal. And this choir rehearsal was not one that would take place in a music suite or in a choir loft, but this was a choir rehearsal in the heavens. And it was time for the choir to sing a new song. And in identifying the person to sing the lead component for this song, there was no one around to be found to sing the lead to this song. So it was unanimously decided that the only person that could lead this song would be none other than Daniel Lewis. I was a young friend in this great young man. And I can only imagine now that he is in the heavenly place, that his new song would be when all of God's children get together. What a time, what a time. What a time. We're going to sit down by the banks of the river. What a time, what a time, what a time.
We thank God for the life of our beloved friend, my student, Daniel Blues. And in the words of 2 Timothy 4 and 7, you have fought the good fight of faith. You have finished your course. And we praise God for your life to the family. You are continue, you will continue to be 